this is sort of a power input and power output, right? So the input is coming from the driver. I guess we could assume that maybe it's putting power in at about the same rate, right? The output is from friction, okay? As the amplitude increases, the output or dissipation increases and that's because it's going farther in a cycle it's also going faster remember that the the, the uh, dissipative force the damping force is some constant times the velocity so the faster it goes the bigger the force is the farther it goes the more um, energy it's it's dissipating okay so it, what I'm saying is that it takes more power to, to push somebody on a swing with an amplitude of say 30 feet than it does to push them on a swing with the same period, everything the same, but with an amplitude of say five feet. Okay, um, this is you know fairly obvious, but you know there it is, right? Okay, so when does the system reach equilibrium? Well, it's going to reach equilibrium when the amplitude quits increasing because as if the power input is bigger than the power uh, dissipated, which it is at first, the amplitude increases. So where does this amplitude stop increasing? Right, right around thirty-five seconds ish. Thirty-five seconds or so, right? How does it, the input compare to the dissipated at 10 seconds? Well, at 10 seconds, notice that the amplitude is still increasing, right? So, so uh, at 10 seconds, the input is bigger than the dissipation, and that's why the amplitude's getting bigger, right? At 45 seconds, I notice that the amplitude's not increasing, right? So therefore, the input has to equal the output, right? Whatever, however much power is getting put in, it's not storing it, so it must be put out. Uh, it must be dissipating that, right? And that's the friction and everything, right? Okay, let's see. Decreasing the Q factor. Well, for four, if you decrease Q, you increase the damping. So if you have more damping, then it would decrease the the amplitude. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. With more damping, uh, it would it would uh, dissipate the same power that the driver is putting in, but it could do it at a lower amplitude. It would have more damping. If this K got to be a bigger number, because basically what a decreasing Q does, right? Okay. Let's imagine that we increase the power input. This would be like, say, you're pulling somebody on a swing. You give them bigger pushes. Well, <laughs> that would increase the amplitude. Why? Because because uh, you're putting more power in, right? So the, it has to have a bigger amplitude to dissipate that power that you're putting in. 